Hello and welcome to another first ride video and today I'm riding this, the 2022 Triumph Speed Twin. So this is a demo bike from Bulldog Triumph while they service my Tiger, so I thought I might as well do a quick first ride video while I've got the chance. So let's go over some brief tech specs. So powering this beast is the legendary Bonneville 1200cc HP motor, and that's kicking out around about uh, 98 horsepower and 112 Newton meters of torque. We've got new forks for this year, we've got new brakes, which we'll talk about as we're going. It's actually got the same dual suspension as last year. We've got a uh, revised Euro 5 engine, so a new exhaust system. We've got some daytime running lights. We've got modern classic looks, as this bike is very famous for. And the radiator is actually mounted lengthways, just keeping the bike nice and slim and not jutting out so that those headers can come out, which do look fantastic, by the way. Right. And it does sound quite good, and that's due to the 270 degree crank beast. Right, seat height 809 millimeters. I can totally flat foot it so if you're my height five foot eight with 29 inch inseam you'll be all right. I've got my Ultima add-ons case there. If you do want one of these go over to Ultima add-ons use code EBD10 for 10% off your order. Okay so let's go and see what this bike is like. It is an absolute scorcher of a day here in the UK, which is uh, rather nice. <laughs> so we're in uh, we're in rain mode. Let's uh, let's change that. Let's stick it in stick it in road mode. Now to change modes it is fairly easy. You just got this button here. You press the button, and then once you depress the clutch, it changes it over for you. Uh, what's going on there, a bit of dogging maybe. <laughs> um, we'll talk about the electronics in a bit. So let's just go back to the engine. Yes, as I said, this has got the uh, Bonneville high powered 1200cc parallel twin single overhead cam liquid cooled motor. That is a mouthful, isn't it? And it's making 98.6 horsepower and that's at 7,250 RPM. This seems to make its power right at the top of the rev range and it makes 112 Newton meters of torque and that's at 4,250 RPM. So pretty low down. It being a big thumpy twin, that's no surprise. And uh, what it does have, oh yes. <laughs> it does have a lot of grunt. Oh, you really can feel that. That is quite impressive. For a sub 100 horsepower bike. <laughs> when that torque kicks in, it is rather lovely. Very, very fun. <laughs> so let's talk about the uh, suspension, the new forks up front, you've got Marzocchi upside down forks, they're 43mm, they are non-adjustable, they do have 120mm of travel. At the rear we seem to have the same dual RSU suspension setup as before, and that is preload adjustable. But apparently this year the to try and uh, adjust the preload you do have to take off or at least loosen the exhaust which is a bit of a pain but uh, first world problems oh those brakes are good so now I've said about the brakes we have Brembo M15 monoblocks radial mounted monoblocks two of those up front and twin 320 mil discs at the rear we have a Nissin twin piston sliding caliper a 220 mil disc and that takes care of all your stopping and as I said those brakes up front are really really good what's the back one like not too bad kind of what you'd expect really uh, talk about the chassis as I said we've got an 809 millimeter seat height the bike weighs in at 216 kilograms fully fueled ready to go it's got a 14.5 litre fuel tank and you can expect around about 140 
to 150 miles range, depending on how you're riding, of course, as always. Electronics-wise, we've got uh, ABS, non-switchable, because that's uh, legislation in our country. You are not allowed to turn it off, because they don't trust us, basically. <laughs> <laughs> We've got traction control which you can actually disable if you want. If you're a bit silly, you may want to uh, you may want to turn it off. <laughs> and we've got three riding modes. We've got uh, rain, road and sport. Now they all output the same amount of power. It's just a different throttle curve. Kind of annoyingly when you turn the bike off. It seems to uh, switch it straight back into rain mode, at least for me. So the front suspension does feel a lot better than the previous year, um, but the rear suspension does, it feels quite soft and bouncy. Now I know you can adjust the preload, so you might be able to fix that yourself, but it would have been nice to see a bit of an upgrade to that rear suspension kind of match the new front end feel but there you go you can't have everything but it does offer a decent amount of travel 120 mils a third both both front and rear and for most applications road applications anyway that's fine I would take this on track myself I think it would be quite good on track especially with those sticky sticky rubber and uh, the rubber is Metzler Racetech RR tires 120 section at the front 160 at the rear let's just go back to the riding modes a little bit because I can feel that is quite snatchy in sport mode so I'm going to go back to let's go back to rain oh that's so much smoother let's go to road actually I think road is probably my favourite mode actually She had us rather lovely, actually. Whee! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, surprisingly agile, actually, considering the weight. Looks-wise, I think, uh, and they are very subjective, I know, but looks-wise, I think it looks pretty damn impressive. I really love this kind of retro-looking style with a modern twist to it got loads of lovely little details the build quality looks to be very good typical triumph really lovely fit and finish all over the bike comes in three colors you got this red um, and you got a gray and I think there's there's a black I'll have to put them up on screen now sorry <laughs> I have forgotten um, but there's also a limited edition brightening version of this bike which uh, I think there's only 250 or something of them made. So this is just a really super quick review because I've basically just borrowed this bike while I'm getting my bike serviced. So, you know, it's not the most in-depth review, but I will try and get some more Triumphs very soon and do some more stuff with them. But uh, yeah, the suspension on the bumpy stuff at the front is doing quite a good job. It's in a really good, Sort of Goldilocks zone of being firm yet fairly plush on all but the most bumpy of roads. The brakes are absolutely incredible, as I've already said. But uh, yeah, the engine is really characterful, loads of grunt, and it does sound good even with these stock pipes. Yeah, sounds pretty damn lovely. Bar end mirrors, I think these are standard, and there's absolutely no vibration in those whatsoever which is really surprising considering you got a thumping twin beneath your legs who uh, <laughs> briefly talk about the things we can see cluster is um, typical triumph very easy to get your head around not overly fussy so yes there she is 2022 updated in 2021 but the 2022 triumph speed twin
what a lovely thing it is indeed. There's those new Marzocchi forks, the M50s down there, three 20mm discs, Racetech RR tyres. We've got daytime running lights, it is a bit dirty, but this bike does get used a hell of a lot. So, you know, just one of those things. There's your rear RSU twin shocks. Yeah, I can see what they mean about the, uh, the adjuster, the preload adjuster being quite near the cans. So you might have to just loosen those off. Big bent seat. We'll talk about comfort in a second. And of course, the beating heart of this bike, the Bonneville 1200 high power, high torque motor. And I think the bike itself looks gorgeous. Right, let's get going. And there's a quick look at the clocks as well. I believe this uh, bike actually revs 500 RPMs higher than the previous gen as well. And that's one thing I noticed with the previous gen is I hit the limiter quite a lot, but I haven't done on this one. As I said, I'd actually quite like to take this bike on track. I think it would be a real hoot. Get your knee sliders on. Be getting your knee down in no time on this because I think the ground clearance is quite low. I don't know what it actually is. I couldn't see anything on the uh, the website saying ground ground clearance, but um... <laughs> oh, probably came out there. Nearly had a nut slapper. Trademark. <laughs> Just used the uh, rear brake to scrub some speed off into that bend there and actually it wasn't too bad but I do find the ABS does cut in quite early <laughs> oh Jesus didn't expect that Ooh. yeah that rear suspension as I said just a little bit on the softer side whereas the front I'm getting lovely feedback from it it just feels really planted. It's got a six-speed gearbox, lovely light clutch feel. Um, actually, the gearbox is quite slick. I've had no false neutrals. It's easy to get it into neutral as well. Um, it's not the kind of gearbox that you want to rush through. But I think that's very in keeping with the style of the bike. Don't you know rush around because you can sort of upset the balance of the bike, but just smoothly does it. And you know what? It's got so much torque, you can just leave it in a pretty high gear and just roll on the throttle. It's just really, really lovely to be on. I've done about an hour in the saddle and I haven't found that it's that uncomfortable. It's uh you know, it's not the most plush of seats, but it does offer a fairly comfortable ride. Certainly up to an hour. Um, I'd say probably an hour and a half you might want to get off, stretch your legs a bit. What's happening here? Will somebody just go? <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> That's the thing with us Brits, we're so polite. No one wanted to go there. We're like, no, no, please, after you. No, 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 after you, sir. Price-wise, we are looking at just over 11 grand. I think it's 11,095 pounds. And there's a whole multitude of accessories for this bike. As per usual with Triumphs. And uh, because of the kind of uh, style of the bike, you really can sort of customize it to your personal taste. But it's a bike, at some point in my biking career, I would like to own one of these. And I'm not just saying that, I genuinely think these are really, really good bikes. And I'd be happy to have one in my collection. What I can also mention, as I've been on the bike for a little while, and actually it is rather a rather toasty day, it's about 29 degrees. I am feeling heat kicking up from the engine on the inside of my knees on both sides. It's not horrifically uncomfortable, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not being burnt, but it, it's there. I can tell it's there, and uh, you know I've got to tell you when I notice these sorts of things on a cooler day. Though that would be rather nice, just a little bit of free heating on your legs. But on a day like today, it is a little bit slightly toasty. But it has a two-year unlimited mileage warranty as well 
and service intervals are every 10,000 miles or 12 months, whichever comes first. So pros and cons for this bike. I would say the engine is a massive pro. It's really, really fun. Pretty good handling, enough tech just to keep you entertained without uh, being a distraction. I think the looks, while subjective, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, cons, uh, the rear suspension is a little bit on the soft, squishy side. The riding modes do change when you turn the bike off, so it's a little bit annoying, but it is really easy just to get back in the mode you want, so not a huge deal, really. Competition for this bike, you're looking at the Kawasaki Z900 RS, as well as the BMW R9T. Probably the R9T Pure is the closest rival to this one, which is a bit more expensive than this. Um, I personally love the look of this, but I do have an R9T coming from BMW tomorrow, in fact, so it will be interesting to see what I think of that after having ridden this today. But that should just about cover this video. Yeah, as I said, really, really fun bike, but like always, go out and test something yourself if you're interested in it. You know, don't just take my word, because all this stuff is just my opinion. I can't tell you what bike to buy, because I don't know you and your needs and your tastes. But uh, personally, I think it's a cracking bike. Right, that should just about do this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do go out today, do ride safely, but remember to have fun, of course, otherwise, what's the point? And until next time, you take care of yourselves and peace. And here we are. Home for you, my little, my little triumph. <laughs>